Hi folks and welcome to the online ministry of First Assembly of God located at 407 Fort Street here in uh, Minden, Louisiana. We're glad you joined us for this brief devotion and uh, it's uh, Monday, but it doesn't have to be a blue Monday. It can be a great Monday and I believe it will as we start our day off uh, in the word of the Lord. Let us pray. Father in heaven, toko yamati yalaboshi handarabodiyandi naisa prikela bukoriyai. Lord, I love you and I bless your name with the tongues of men and the tongues of angels. God, I pray that you would quicken this word to us as we study it briefly this morning. And God, that you would bring forth a nugget to us, Lord, a strengthening to us, an encouragement to us all. Lord, uh, with the word in the hands of the Holy Ghost, that you'd make it come alive to us and apply it to us, Lord. And God, that you'd encourage us through it and give us strength by it. And God, we thank you for it. Thank you for ordering our steps, giving us uh, abundant life on this earth and eternal life in heaven. In Jesus' almighty name, we pray and everybody said, amen. We're picking up at Acts chapter 10, verse 16. This was our final uh, scripture from uh, last week. This was done thrice, three times, and the vessel was received up again into heaven. This is the ending, the last verse uh, of the actual vision that God gave to Simon Peter. God is doing a, uh, a miracle uh, here at Joppa. He's done a miracle at, uh, at uh, Cornelius' house over in Caesarea. And he's about to get the two groups together and do another more mighty miracle. If you can say any miracle is mightier than others, uh, he's going to do a third vision, but a, a third miracle. So both visions and both messages to the Lord uh, from the Lord to Cornelius and to Simon Peter have all come from the Lord and they, God is setting them up to do a great thing. So this is the ending of the vision. Now then, Acts 10 and 17. Now while Simon Peter doubted in himself what this vision which he had seen should mean. Remember it had all sorts of uh, live animals in that sheet in the vision. And Simon Peter was hungry. And God told him, arise, uh, slay and eat. And he said, no, I'll be breaking the Jewish food laws. I've never done that. So now while Peter is, is wondering, he's pondering, he's doubted what this vision means, which he had seen. <clears throat> Behold, the men which were sent from Cornelius had made inquiry for Simon's house and stood before the gate and called and asked whether Simon Peter, which Simon, which was surnamed Peter, was staying there. While Peter thought on the vision, the Spirit spoke to him and said, Behold, three men seek you. 10.20 says this, Arise, therefore, get down. Remember, he's up on the rooftop. Uh, now, they don't have pitch roofs. You know, it's flat roof. So he's up there. It's, it's like a deck to us, okay? <laughs> Arise, therefore, get thee down and go with them doubting nothing and here's the clincher the Lord says for I have sent them the day and age that we live in we live on this side of Calvary we live on this side of an empty tomb the justifying uh, of, of us just as if we had never uh, ever sinned giving us innocence in the eyes of God and the resurrection as he, the Lord after the resurrection, he ascended to the right hand of God the Father. So he's there making intercession for us. He's there as our advocate, our Jesus is. And so we live in a marvelous time. And so Pentecost comes and all the born again believers are, uh, are receive the Holy Ghost to some degree. And then there's the baptism in the Holy Ghost. So when God begins to speak to you, no matter how Rule breaking, it may seem, as far as previous rules. Remember, Peter is a full blood Jew, but he believes in Jesus. But he has done nothing but be raised and live as a Jew. He was raised as a child, as a Jew, and now he's grown and he's lived as a Jew. And now the Holy Ghost is giving him words, giving him direction. And he said, you go with these three men. I have sent them. And look, he says, doubting nothing. Don't you doubt. Don't you be worrisome. 
Don't, it doesn't say worrisome, but you know what it means. That's in there. Don't you be uh, uh, uneasy about it. You go with them because I am sending you to go with them. It's okay because, see, the people he's going with are Gentiles. Not only is that, when he gets to Caesarea, what they're going to have him do is come into the house. Now, to you and I, that's not a big deal to go into a strange person's house that you may not know. But I want you to know, for a Jew to enter the house of a Gentile was to make that Jew ceremonially unclean. In other words, it was a sin to intentionally do that. So that's why the Holy Ghost just says, go with them. Go with these three guys. Don't doubt anything. I have sent them to come get you. So if we will follow the leading of the Holy Ghost, folks, if we will allow him, because he will direct our paths, if we acknowledge him, he will direct our paths and let him speak to us and tell us and encourage us things to do, we will have the clear, the clear directions that Peter has from the Lord, even if it seems to cross a taboo. If God sends you, it's, you're not breaking a taboo, you're not committing sin, you're doing what God told you to do. So, as you go through this week, folks, God bless you and keep you and lead you. Allow, ask the Lord when you get up and you do your prayerful devotions every morning, ask God, Lord, direct my steps. Order my steps. You direct my path, and God, I want to go where you want me to go. I want to be with who you, you want me to be with, and I want to say what you want me to say. Folks, that's the only way we can be the ambassadors of Christ. That's the only way we can be his mouth, we can be his hands, and we can be his feet, is to go where he tells us to go. I hope you have a great week and that your steps are ordered of the Lord, and they are already, but that you will ask God to let you see that order, that you may walk in them, and you will have a great week accomplishing great things in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, for his glory and the enlargement of his kingdom. Let us pray. Father, lead us and guide us this week. Let us not be fearful, but let us be faithful. Keep us all in the hollow of your hand. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, folks. Have a great week. Goodbye.